everyone, it's Leela from Miss Kiss Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this Santa Claus tumbler. Like always, I will have all of my materials posted in my description below, along with the website, some links, and coupon code for the glitter that I use today. I'll also be having my help videos in my description below for all of my beginner Tumblr creators. So if you do need help with little uh, steps that I kind of breeze through, go ahead and look at my description and you might find some videos there to help you out. I'll also be adding where I purchased my vinyl from. Um, with this gold vinyl, I'm going to add a different color gold that I recommend. If you can see the belt buckles coming up, I don't recommend the vinyl that I chose, but I do have another gold vinyl that I do recommend. So if you are doing yours in gold, I'll have the color and the website where I purchased that vinyl from. Let's go ahead and get started with the Santa Claus tumbler. Today I'm working with a 20 ounce stainless steel tumbler from Maker Flow Crafts. I sanded my tumbler with a 180 grit sanding block. After that, I wiped it down with 91% alcohol. Then I spray painted it white. I use a flat or a matte white spray paint. My spray paint is completely dried on my tumbler. And what I wanna do now is I wanna kinda separate this tumbler in two parts. So I wanna keep a white part here in the middle and then I want the rest to be red. So the way that I'll be separating my tumbler is going to be with 631 vinyl or temporary vinyl. So this is not permanent, this is just temporary vinyl. So I cut this with three inches. So this is three inches. And then I just um, I just cut it about, I think it's about seven or eight inches high and you could just cut off the excess up top. You can separate this with painter's tape, with electrical tape, whatever is easier for you. I'm just using this because I believe this is going to be easier for me. And the concept of this is wherever the black is, this is where the white's going to be. So underneath the black is going to be the white glitter and everywhere around it is going to be the red glitter. I have my tumbler here. I have my temporary or 631 vinyl here. And then I'm going to transfer the vinyl over on transfer tape. So I have my transfer tape here. You can freehand this, but I don't trust myself enough. So I'm just going to place it on here and then peel it off and then place it on the tumbler. All right, so I have my 631 or temporary vinyl on my tumbler and you can see that it does get wrinkled in the middle. That's fine. The 20 ounce tumbler, it's bigger up top and it's smaller at the bottom. So these little wrinkles are fine. What I focused on was placing it to make sure these edges uh, were straight. So it's gonna be bigger at the top and smaller at the bottom. If you are working with a straight tumbler, like a 20 ounce or 30 ounce skinny tumbler, it's going to be one straight a uh, square or rectangle. So this is gonna be a little curved for this one. My next step of this tumbler is going to be optional for you. If you have the spray paint, uh, go ahead and spray paint it, or if you want to spray paint it, if you don't, you don't have to. I'm going to take this tumbler outside and I'm going to spray paint all of the white, uh, trying to focus on most of the white, and then I'll spray paint the bottom as well. I will be using Krylon uh, Banner Red to spray paint my tumbler. I spray painted my tumbler and now I'm going to let it sit on the turner. I'm not going to turn it on. I'm just going to let it air dry for about 20 to 30 minutes. So see y'all then. Hey guys, I'm back with my tumbler and my spray paint is completely dry on the tumbler. It's been about 30 minutes. Now I am going to apply my glitter to my tumbler. The glitter I'll be using is going to be North Pole from Glitter Heart Company. And then I have the white glitter, which is going to be diamonds from Glitter Heart Company. I will be having a coupon code in my description below to receive 15% off your first order from Glitter Heart Company. The way I apply my glitter is going to be the epoxy method. With the epoxy method, you just need a very little amount of epoxy. So I'm not even doing a full tumbler, so I'm probably going to end up using about three mLs of epoxy. So that's about one and a half part uh, A and one and a half part B of uh, epoxy. So um, what I typically do is I made a big batch because I have other tumblers I need to um, epoxy. So that's how I kinda, um, do these tumblers. It's really hard to make a small batch of epoxy, even if it's like two or three 
mls of epoxy so i just make one big batch and i do three or four cups i have already mixed my epoxy off screen if you need assistance on how to apply glitter to your tumbler using the epoxy method i will be posting one of my help videos in my description below for more details and now i'm going to apply my epoxy I'm back with my tumbler epoxied. I only applied my epoxy on the red areas because I will be adding the North Pole red glitter to my tumbler first. So I'm not epoxying this um, tape or vinyl. I am making sure I'm getting this epoxy over. So you can go ahead and take your glove finger and then epoxy as close as you can to that uh, tape or your vinyl whichever one you're using and even if you get it over that's fine so i just put my finger between the vinyl and the red uh, tumbler and i just kind of made that so it could be nice and flush because if you don't have your epoxy on your tumbler and spots that's where the glitter will not stick and now to apply the glitter to my tumbler My glitter is all my tumbler and I did cover the bottom and I really like how spraying the base of the tumbler the same color as the glitter because if I do miss some spots um, you can't really notice it so I really do like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop my cup turner and then I'm going to peel up this uh, vinyl or if you use tape peel up your tape and I'm going to pull my vinyl away from the glitter. So I'm trying to make this line really, really crisp and I'm pulling it away. So if you do get some red glitter on this tumbler where the white part is, that's fine because you have no epoxy underneath this tape. So I'm pulling up slowly and then that will be completely removed. And now I'm going to apply my epoxy and then my white glitter. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to dip my gloved finger inside of my cup and then I'm just going to wipe on the epoxy with my gloved finger. And then I'm going to apply that white glitter right where the white is. So I'm getting close to that line, that red line. So I wanna show y'all what I do. So I take a baby wipe and I make sure I have no glitter, no red glitter on my finger. And then I just take my finger, and I'm hoping y'all can see this, and I just kinda of hug that line. And if I take some of that red glitter off, that's fine. I am just trying to get that epoxy as closely to that red line as I can. So I'm just taking my finger and I'm just hugging that line. And if there's any uh, little red pieces of glitter that kind of bleeds over, that's okay, don't worry about it. We can always get that off uh, whenever I'm done applying this glitter. And then I can just pick that right up. So you just wanna make sure you have that coat of, uh, that coat of epoxy on there, just like you did with the other, uh, the red side. I have my epoxy on my tumbler. My next step is to apply the white glitter. So I'm just going to apply it right where the white is.
So now that I have my tumbler completely uh, covered with glitter, I'm now going to allow it to uh, spin on the cup turner for about two hours. After about two hours, I'm then going to turn off my cup turner and let it air dry or air cure for another three hours. So the total drying or curing time is going to be five hours. Whenever I'm finished uh, with the drying time, I will return. So I'll see y'all then. Hey guys, I'm back with my tumbler and it is completely dried underneath the tumbler. My epoxy is completely dried. So the way that I test that is I just kind of dab my finger on the glitter and uh, I don't feel any uh, wet uh, epoxy. This next step is optional, but it's just uh, just an extra, uh, I guess, step that I like to, to add, especially whenever I'm trying to keep this crisp line. I'm going to spray this tumbler with a Krylon Crystal Clear acrylic coating. All it does is it just gives the glitter an extra seal on the tumbler. So I take this outside. I do not recommend spraying this inside because it is very, very strong. After I spray it three times, I uh, let it air cure or air dry. Again, this step is optional. So if you don't have this on hand, don't wait uh, you know, a week to get this in. Go ahead and skip this step and go right into epoxying it. And I will explain how you epoxy this to make sure that you don't mix the red and the white glitters together. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this and I'll see y'all in about 25, 30 minutes. I've mixed my epoxy off camera. I mixed a total of 20 mLs of epoxy. That's 10 mLs part B and 10 mLs of part A, total in 20 mLs of epoxy. And I'm just going to lay this glitter or lay the epoxy on the glitter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not going to dip my finger inside of the cup. I'm going to drip the epoxy on. So I'm gonna start with the line here first and I'm just going to pour it. And then I'm going to take my gloved finger and I'm just going to swipe down. You can see no glitter or little to no glitter um, came off of that epoxy. So that's really, really good. And none of it really came off the tumbler. So that's what I'm focusing on first. I'm focusing on uh, that line first, that separation line, because I don't really want to mix that uh, red over to that white too much. I don't want to do it at all, but uh, let's be real. These cups aren't going to be perfect, which is a good thing because they're more authentic. So that's okay if they're not perfect. So I did that line, and then now I'm going to spin my turner, and I don't have that much epoxy on there, so it's going to be fine. I'm going to take my gloved finger and I'm going to wipe it off with a baby wipe. I do this so I don't transfer any glitter. So now I'm going to do the next line. Again, I'm pouring on and then I'm just going to swipe down the tumbler. So I'm doing that again and then swiping down the tumbler. And no glitter transferred over from, uh, from that side of the cup, so that's really good. So if you didn't seal your tumbler, don't worry about it. Just do this. Make sure you're not applying your glitter left and right or applying your epoxy left and right. Just keep applying it up and down and uh, it will be fine. It won't really uh, transfer over too much or it won't mix too much. So now that I have that, I am first going to focus on my white area since that's my lighter color. I'd rather get some red or some white on my red than some red on my white because you're not able to see the white on the red too much. So I'm first going to hit that and again I'm just pouring because I don't want to put my hand inside of my cup and add glitter to the tumbler or to the epoxy mix and then add that epoxy mix to the tumbler. So pouring it makes it a lot easier. You want to make sure that you're getting an even coat and this coat isn't a thick coat this coat just uh, kind of locks in that glitter so you don't want a, a thick coat on this so you just want uh, something just to lock in that glitter because we're going to be we're going to be putting another coat of epoxy on this tumbler so i'm spinning this with my uh hand and then i'm going to add a little bit more on this side because it's not too even and then i'm just pushing it down so you notice I'm not really rubbing the, the colors together. I'm just doing one nice sweep. And if you have some red glitters like I have here, I just pick them up with my gloved finger 
and then I just wipe them on my toner arm or you can wipe them on your apron or on a napkin, whichever, you, whichever way you would like to do it. Make sure you're picking up these little stragglers while the epoxy is still wet because they're going to stay there in the epoxy whenever the epoxy cures. So if you notice, I put such little amount of epoxy on my tumbler that it's not dripping. So now I'm going to apply my epoxy to my red side. And now I'm going to turn on my cup turner. And I'm just going to have it spin. And as it's spinning, I'm just dripping the epoxy on and then I'm spreading it on the tumbler. I'm gonna let it roll around, I'm letting it spin. I'm not chasing my tumbler. And again, I'm just dripping it on and then adding more. And I'm just going to take my time with this because I don't want a lot of that red glitter uh, mixing with that white glitter. I wanna keep these two colors separated as much as I can. My tumbler is completely covered with epoxy. There are some red pieces of glitter that's on the white section. So I'm just going to take my gloved finger, like I said, and just pick them up with my gloved finger. So that's all you need to do is just kind of poke at the glitter and it comes right up. So you don't have to do this. If, you, uh, if it doesn't bother you as much, then that's, that's okay. So do whatever you feel comfortable, but I'm just going to clean it up just a little bit and get those little stragglers from that white area. You must do this before your epoxy is dry because your epoxy is going to lock in that glitter and it's going to keep that red glitter on that tumbler. I am finished applying my epoxy to my tumbler. I'm now going to allow my tumbler to spin on the cup turner for six to eight hours. After my tumbler has been spinning to, for six to eight hours, I'm then going to turn off my cup turner and I'm going to allow my cup turner to, excuse me, I'm going to allow my tumbler to air dry or air cure. So I want a total drying time of at least 24 hours. So I'm going to allow this tumbler to air dry or air cure for 24 hours, and then I'll see y'all then. Hi everyone, I'm back and my tumbler is completely cured. So this is what your tumbler should look like if you are following along. The next step is going to be adding the decals. Before we add the decals, we wanna make sure we're working with a, a clean or smooth surface because if we have a bumpy surface and we add the decals, we're going to see the bumpiness underneath the decals. So in order to do that, I'm going to sand this with a 320 grit sanding block. I'm going to do this very, very lightly because if I press down really hard or if I use like a 180 grit sanding block, then I'm going to sand away the glitter. So you want to make sure you're doing this very, very lightly. You do not want to sand away this glitter. The way that you know if you sand away your glitter, your glitter is going to start turning silver. So make sure you take your time with this step and make sure you really, really uh, press lightly and you don't press too hard. All right, I'm finished sanding my tumbler and my next step is going to be adding the decals. Uh, the decal is going to be a belt and it's going to be the belt buckle. So before I lay these, I wanna explain something to y'all first. There are many ways to lay your belt buckle. Uh, I'm going to try laying it with vinyl. The vinyl that I purchased is from 143vinyl.com. It used to be 651vinyl.com. I will have their link in my description below. And I have this nice glitter um, black vinyl that I decided to use. If you don't have vinyl, you can make this belt buckle with Mod Podge and glitter. So you would um, Mod Podge a band and then, or you would trace out a line and then you'd Mod Podge it and then uh, glitter it seal it, and then go ahead and epoxy it. If you don't have Mod Podge, you can always use a uh, double-sided tape. So you can put double-sided tape on here, and then you can apply the glitter, seal it, and then epoxy it. 
So you don't have to use vinyl. I'm just trying vinyl because I'm trying to make it the easiest way that I think is. Um, so if it doesn't work out, then I might use other uh, things that I mentioned. This piece of vinyl was just taken off a 12 by 12 square vinyl that I purchased from 143 vinyl. And I have a uh, paper cutter. I just cut an inch and a half. So this is an inch and a half wide. And then I just kept it the 12 inches because I'll just, um, I'll either overlap this on the back or I will just cut it to make it flush to, uh, or even to each other. And I'm using this silver metallic for the belt buckle. The way I made this belt buckle is I uh, used Cricut Design Space and I searched for a square. So I got an outline of a square and then I added a, another square. And so I made them into two little rectangles. So I made, I have this one outline rectangle and then I have a very, very small rectangle and then I welded them together. Okay, so if you don't have any idea what I'm talking about, I'm going to try to run through this as quickly as possible. If you already know what I'm talking about, go ahead and fast forward this part. So I'm in Cricut Design Space and I made this belt buckle. I'm going to go to the left-hand corner and click Images. I'm going to search for Square. And then the square that I chose was just an outline. I do have the Cricut Access, um, so you do have to pay your monthly fee or your yearly fee for this. So I have my square here and then I'm going to insert a shape on the left hand side and I'm going to insert another square. So then I'm going to make this square a little bit smaller like a rectangle and then I want to make this outline square like a rectangle. So however you want to make it and then I'm going to place this here and I all I did was I kind of eyeballed it. You can go online and search for um, Santa Claus tumblers and you can kind of judge from there what kind of looks right. And then I placed this in the middle and again I just eyeballed it and then I select both of those images and then I'm going to go to the bottom right corner and I'm going to select weld and now it welded it together. So I have to make this fit an inch and a half um, belt that uh, that piece of vinyl. So I took another square which is here, so I upload another shape. And then I went up to the height and I typed in 1.5. So now this square is um, one, one and a half inches and then I placed this belt buckle above the square and I made sure that they overlap perfectly. So whenever I cut this out, it's going to lay, um, it's gonna overlay that belt perfectly. So you can make it a little smaller if you want um, but just make sure that it overlaps whatever size belt you're using. So whenever I cut this out, I'm going to delete this or hide this, and then I want to only cut this belt buckle. So I hope that all made sense to y'all. All right, so now I'm going to place my vinyl on my tumbler. Now this um, is going to be a little hard for me because this tumbler is a 20 ounce and it's a little curvy. So I'm just going to place it anywhere I like. I'm going to try to do it towards the bottom and uh let's go ahead and just place it there and i'm just eyeballing this as much as i can i just want to try to lay this as flat as i can because like i said this is not a straight tumbler so it's probably going to be a little difficult for me Okay, so I actually really like this vinyl because it's very stretchy. So you were able, I was able to really stretch it. It's not like regular 631 uh, vinyl that isn't um, glitter. So it's gonna look kind of wonky now because um, I think it's just messing with my eyes how the cup is bigger on the top and smaller on the bottom. So it looks kind of uneven, but I think it's fine. And now to add the buckle, uh, I decided to go with a gold buckle instead of a silver buckle. So whichever color you want to add, uh, for the buckle, uh, go ahead and add, and you're just going to place the transfer tape on the buckle, and then I'm just going to kind of line, line the buckle up and kind of place it so it is sitting uh, just on that black belt, and you can't see any glitter. So just carefully place your buckle, and I'm trying to make it kind of even 
with his white uh, part as well. So I'm just going to move it a little bit and I'm just going to eyeball this. And I think it looks fine there. So I'm going to place it down and then remove it up. Uh, the size of this buckle that I'm using, I made it uh, 2.7, so it's 2.7 uh, width. So if you want to make it a smaller buckle or a bigger buckle, it is completely up to you. I know everyone, um, they like to do things a little differently. So now I'm going to remove my transfer tape and then my buckle and my belt is now going to be placed. Here's my tumbler so far. Now it's time to epoxy my tumbler. I have mixed my epoxy off screen. I mixed a total of 20 milliliters of epoxy. So that is about 10 milliliters of part A and 10 milliliters of part B, totaling 20 milliliters of epoxy. If you do wanna know how to mix epoxy properly, I will be posting uh, help videos in my description below. So go ahead and check those out if you are a beginner. Whenever I'm finished epoxying uh, this tumbler, I'm going to allow it to spin on my cup turner for uh, six to eight hours. Whenever the tumbler has been spinning for six to eight hours, I will then turn off my cup turner and then let it air dry or air cure for another 10 hours or so. So I wanna make sure this tumbler is completely air dried or air cured for at least 24 hours. And whenever it is uh, air dried or air cured for 24 hours, my cup is finished. And then my next step will be cleaning up the rim or inside of the tumbler. I will be posting a help video in my description below to show y'all how to clean up the inside of my tumblers and to clean up the rim. So be sure to check out all of my help videos if you are a beginner. I left the white part blank. I didn't add a decal on there. Um, you can add uh, buttons if you like. You can add kind of like a vest, maybe Santa Claus's beard. So I left it blank. Uh, so maybe y'all can use your imagination and maybe add something really cute, maybe a name or a little saying decal or whatever you would like. If you do end up making one of these Santa cups and you want to add something cute to the white part and you want to show me, I do have a Facebook group called Tumblr Creators with a K. I will be adding that to my description below and you can go ahead and uh, join that group and I'll accept you and you can post it on that group to show me what you've created. And now my Tumblr is finished. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Tumblr and craft videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see y'all next time.